Hey everybody, it's Nick here again for Grayscale Gorilla. I am the Gorilla. Today I wanted to show you guys my new Intuos 4 Wacom tablet I got in the mail from Amazon today. Um, I set it up and I'm going through the features here and I'm really pretty pumped about it. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you, you know, how it works, how it does some things that the old uh, versions don't do and uh, you know, kind of show you what the buttons do. I'm gonna try something new, I'm gonna aim the camera down at the, uh, at the tablet here so you can see what the heck I'm doing and then I'll show you the screen and some of the new features uh, of the uh, Intuos 4. So uh, here we go. All right, so here we are. Here's the, uh, here's the uh, tablet and uh, you can see the main thing that's different from the other one, in fact, I have it right here. Here's the, um, Intuos 3, you can see it's kind of a grayish uh, charcoal color and it has a couple buttons up here and then it has the pad. Uh, and then here's the new design. Um, it's black, it's pretty much all black. Um, and you can see it actually it has different setups for the buttons here. It's got three buttons up here, three down here, a scroll wheel and a button in the middle. And the pad here is about the same size. Now, uh, right when you start using it, you're going to notice, um, actually, when you draw on it, there's a, there's a different uh, feeling to it. It feels a little more like gritty paper, where the other, the Intuos 3, kind of felt a little more uh, slick, like plastic. This actually has the feeling of kind of, it catches more. It catches like some, like a crayon on paper or something. Um, so that took some getting used to. Uh, there's actually a ton of little niblet things here. I don't know what they call them, but these are different. Uh, let me get it in the camera here. These are different tips um, that go in the uh, that go in the um, uh, front of the pen that you could use. Uh, so maybe these have a different feeling to them, but uh, I haven't tried those out yet. That's also the uh, holder for the pen, so there you go. All right, let's get to the important fun stuff here. Uh, the the um, feeling after you get used to it kind of, you know, doesn't really bother me too much. Um, but now, uh, check out here, I got a photo of, um, uh, of my uh, dad here, and I just wanna go through some of the um, options. Now, the first button up top here actually shows you what all these buttons do, which I think is really cool. Um, instead of going to the menu or whatever, um, it just shows you what all this stuff does. So uh, you can see here, it just kind of lists down what it is. And so let's go through them. Um, the first one is, so here's my brush. I can you know draw around. This first button here below the options here is called precision mode. And what it looks like it does is kind of magnify your, your um, uh, or demagnify your, your brush stroke so you can really get detailed. So in, um, for example, uh, I'm just gonna move my pen back and forth and you can see it's about that big. Um, I'm gonna do that same movement with the precision mode on. You're gonna see it's about that big. And I think uh, basically what that does is allows me to come in here and get really small with my brush, you know, without zooming in. Because it used to be to do a brush stroke that small, you'd have to zoom in, you know, and then, um, and then kind of paint around there right so instead I think this precision mode well I probably won't use it much but you know it kind of slows your pen down uh, what I may do is uh, in a, 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 a in a package like cinema 4d where I do a lot of pen movement and sometimes I want a little movement sometimes I want a lot of movement what I may do is in cinema really crank up my um, settings to really move stuff a lot but then when I want to move stuff a little I use this precision mode to just move things back and forth. I think it may be a little more useful in that situation. So um, get rid of all my brush strokes here. Uh, the next button down, you can see, uh, I'm gonna show you the, um, the list here. This third button here is the shift key. So it's the same as the uh, keyboard, you know, shift key here. Um, <clears throat> and uh, also while we're talking about it, these two buttons down here are the, uh, let me get, bring up the menu, the control and command buttons. So here's control, command, and shift right here. Um, I may remap it so they're all next to each other. So it's more like the, um, more like the keyboard, but there you go. Um, you can kind of do keyboard commands right from it, right click, stuff like that. 
Um, the last one on the bottom is the pan and scroll tool. If you look up on the screen, it gives you basically the equivalent of a space bar in a program like Photoshop or After Effects. Um, it kind of grabs onto stuff. So you could paint, move things over. Oh, whoops. Move things over, paint, move things over, paint. Now, um, also, I'm just going to undo that. Also, uh, so let's get to the important part. This is the scroll wheel. Uh, and this is mainly the main reason I bought the new uh, the new Intuos 4 is just for this. So uh, actually, let me show you on a, on a website first. Here's my site. Now it used to be, uh, if I wanted to scroll on, down the site, if I had a long list of something or I was reading something, I'd have to come over here with my pen and grab this and, and pull it down. Um, and I know uh, that seems maybe a little uh, <laughs> like I'm crying here, but it, it's kind of a, you know, they made a mouse with a scroll wheel on it for a reason, and, and it's for this. So usually if I'm um, scrolling on a website, I'll grab my mouse, right, and I'll just kind of scroll down and use this. But that was kind of a pain to grab my mouse. I just wish there was a way to use the pen. So, um, you know, there's a couple things I could do. that I could use this bottom button here, this grab button, to just grab the screen and move it. And this is similar to um, what Firefox did natively, but now I could use this in Safari. So I'm reading, I need to go move down, I'm reading more, or I'm watching, whatever. I could just pan and scroll around. I could also use this scroll wheel, which is what we're really going to talk about, to scroll down the page and up. So uh, that is pretty awesome for me. Uh, that's really one of the main reasons I bought it um, was just for that. So let's look at the other things that the scroll wheel does. Um, and I'm going to bring up the menu again, and you can see the first one's called uh, Auto Scroll and Zoom. So it's going to scroll on web pages, and if you're in Photoshop or something, it's actually going to zoom in and out. So this scrolling is, is kind of zooming in your photos. Uh, now the next thing it does, it actually has four commands, and you switch between them by using this middle button. Uh, I'm going to check to see the next one. The next one's called Cycle Layers. So I'm going to go to the second command mode here, and if you look over on the um, Layers panel here, uh, I'm going to just scroll through my layers. Now I don't see myself using this too much. Uh, maybe there's a better way, maybe an After Effects would be more useful or something, but anyway, you could scroll through layers and you can see it kind of moving right there. Da -da. Let's go to the next one. The next one is brush size. I think this is pretty cool. I'm going to go to my, uh, grab my brush and uh, I'm going to draw and I think that's too big, so I'm actually just going to move that down and that's better. I'm going to move it kind of a medium. So now I can actually control my brush, get a big one. Um, and go get a small one really quickly instead of using this menu up here or instead of using the keyboard commands. So I think I'll definitely be using that quite a bit. Now the last dot down here, you can see actually when I hit this, see that, see that um, LED, blue LED moving? That kind of shows you what uh, command you're on. So uh, on the last one, this fourth one, is actually rotating the picture, see? Uh, and this is pretty cool if you're drawing, if you, I could see if you're a big drawer, um, you know, and you're sketching. Let me just mock up a quick little screen here. You know, you got your um, pencil, whatever, and you notice when people, when, when people that can actually draw, which I can't, um, when people are sketching things on a piece of paper, you'll see that they rarely keep the paper straight up and down like this in Photoshop. What they like to do is kind of sketch things and move things over. Let's pretend I could draw for a second. And then what they do is kind of move the paper around and then kind of what, what that allows them to do is just use their natural movement of the hand instead of moving your hand around like this or that to get a diagonal. It just allows you to move the paper and, and kind of use the natural um, movement of your hand to kind of draw around. See how that works? And you'll see people that draw actually will do this with the paper. And I think this would help, again, if I could actually draw uh, me kind of make stuff. There you go. There's a smiley face. So, um, so that is about it. That's all the buttons. Now, um, one last thing I'll tell you about is it's, uh, I hope I say it right, ambidextrous. 
I've always wondered exactly how to say that word, but it allows you to wear the uh, old Wacom uh, Intuos 3 was kind of made for righties and then the buttons were on the left, see? And then if I flip it, you can see the wire's gonna get caught. It's uh, Everything's gonna be kind of upside down. The uh, Intuos 4 can actually be flipped and there's actually comes with two different cables that aim different ways. So if I flip this and I'm a lefty, I could actually get the other cable that aims up. So that is pretty cool. Um, uh, so I think that is about it. It's a little uh, dusty. I think I have uh, some uh, Raisin Bran on it, but that's okay. Well, all right, that's it. That's the uh, Intuos 4 uh, quick review here. And uh, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you buy one. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. Bye-bye.